Hello everyone and welcome back to The Random Venom. I'm your host Ravenwood and welcome back to On The Shelf with Starscream. Not just any type of Starscream though. Uh, Armada Starscream. He's from the sh TV show called Transformers Armada. Um, it's uh it's the first se it's the first series of Transformers Unicron uh it's the it's the first show of the Transformers Unicron trilogy or at least that's what it's called I guess The Transformers Armada Energon and then Cybertron at least I I think Cybertron is the third part I uh, I'm not certain or I, I'm not certain if if it's Energon and then um, Cybertron or Cybertron and then Energon. Regardless, Armada is the first one. Anyway, so you got Transformers Armada with Armada Starscream. Um, no, I do not have any other versions of the Starscream. So let's break it down for you. Here is Starscream from Transformers Siege of C Cybertron. Not the Okay, all the Starscreams, uh, both Starscreams are falling. Okay. There. There. Okay, so Starscream from the Detectorjet version of Starscream, there. Starscream Armada. There, you got them both, right? Set this Starscream aside. Now, Starscream Earthrise. Oh, and there's one other character. <laughs> I forgot. The not Starscream. Um, I forgot his name. But it was, um, uh, um, I forgot his name. So I'll look it up over here in the pile of instructions of characters and their names. Oh dear. Uh, this is not in the right order of how I had them in. Or how they're supposed to be in order. What is his name? What is his name? <laughs> oh! Hotlink. That's his name. Hotlink. It, there is hot thing. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You got a hot link. Okay. <laughs> so, and there's one other character that's kind of in the, in the seeker mold or seeker built or bit build or whatever. Roughly. But I'm not, I'm not good at this. Basically evil henchman, whatever, number 32. Anyways, Hotlink can go over here. This version of Starscream can go over here. <coughs> and I guess we can keep this version of Starscream right over here, staring at you, making sure you watch the channel. <laughs> All right, well, let's just get them out a bit. There, he only needs the one no way. Right now, Armada Starscream. He has a similar outlook to him. They at least kept one, if not two, of the colors consistently with the Starscreams: <laughs> red, black, and gray. <laughs> so this one clearly has more or leaned more closer towards the red. And uh, the black, so he won't hurt Jack. 
eventually I'll get other versions of um of Megatrons. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so and what I like here is that his wings can fold out, they can go up like this. Um they without these here, they can even go in and close like that or if you really want to i'm not yeah they can close they can go down like that looks nice nice and neat i like to have them in all the poses <laughs> really but um all the um i like to have his wings in all various poses but of course there's also this pose, I guess. You can position the wings just like that. But that's for transformation. So we're not going to do the transformation just yet. So, yeah, he has. He can sit down look, and be a good boy, I guess. That was not planned, but hey, at least we can now know he can sit down almost perfectly. Yeah, actually, no, perfectly right there. So he can sit down. Now that question puts into question, can he sit on the throne? All right, let's see if he can sit on the throne. But you can't be a perf, you can't be a star screen if you can't sit on the throne. At least we'll try. Can he sit on the throne? This was not part of the plan. Do we do? So, well, he can just barely, you can kind of make it work, but there we go. He could sit on the throne, <laughs> just barely, but you know, good enough. It's good enough for me. He could at least sit on the throne. So, yeah, you can... He wasn't going to stand up for long. Okay, so yeah. And before you ask, yes, he could probably hold all the different null rays. You could attach all the different null rays onto his arms. As you know what, this is, this is you know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll take, we'll, we'll take these spare null rays over here. These spare ones. All right, and we'll attach them to the side here. Touch them side. And then, yeah. You can have the spare null rays if you want to. Pew, pew, pew. Sp spare null rays, yay. You don't need them, you're, you're knocked over. Okay, speak of the knocked over, there we go. Man. Better be watching. <laughs> Better be subscribing. Better be uh, commenting down below which one's your favorite Starscream. Now I know there's going to be another version of Starscream. I think from the Energon show that's being that's being released. Um, I don't know if there's any other versions of the Starscreams that I don't have that I don't know about or that. I don't have, and I do know about it, but I'm avoiding because they're superfluous. <laughs> um, that'd be a little bit superfluous. I'm trying to stick to, like, characters that I've watched from the show, right? Characters from watch from the show, and it's from the current toy line, or the current figure line, right? And that's the that's the gimmick I'm, I'm trying to do here with when it comes to collecting. Okay, so, anyways, Starscream. Can he hold these weapons? These, yeah, of course, he would not make weapons that he cannot hold. There is one slight issue here, or disappointment here. 
a lot of, if in case you don't know, um, or in, in case you, yeah, in case if you don't know about the show, um, is that this blue saber, um, is called this, I think it's called the star saber, which is also conflict, confusing because there's also a character called star saber, so, <laughs> um, well, from a Japanese show, um, and I think there was also a few comics and manga that came after that with Star Saber. Uh, but anyways, in Transformers Prime, there's also another sword called the Star Saber Sword. So, it, it, Star Saber being a Star Saber, I know, shocking! <laughs> he turns into a sword. No, he doesn't turn, turn into a sword. But anyways, no, but the problem here is, is that they didn't have enough budget for... They, they probably did, now I think about it. Uh, they probably do have enough enough budget. Um, maybe, not really. It depends. I mean, technically speaking, they, they want the, like, the Star Saber to be in scale with the character. But but even still, it's kind of a bit small. <laughs> the Star Saber is also a little bit s small. But what I'm trying to talk about budget is that people wanted the Star Saber to be more like this but painted blue and have a handle <laughs> there's like three mini cons that can combine and form into the star saber and also have like uh, one turn one transform to the handle another into the the blade and the other to the top part of the blade the middle the, the middle part of the sword when the, the Beginning, middle, and right. Um, so yeah, that's that's another that's a small this is a small complaint. But however, visually, and for um, and it's the concept wise of, of the character, um, yeah, I I, I kind of like this uh this like stand in um version of the uh, Star Saber sword. Now, if there's like a uh. A fan made fix it thing or whatever it's called, I forgot. Like a um, upgrade kit or something for for Marta Stars King. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I would like it if the if you had a, if there was an upgrade kit for Marta Stars King, I would like it if like the legs were a little bit tighter. Although I think that's more like something you can probably fix uh, with the screwdriver or something. I would know that. Uh, I would know how to do that. I don't know if there's a specific channel to dedicate their lives to doing that. Oh, also, here's another thing. I'm going to have to set you aside for just a second. I'm sorry, sorry, screen. Star screen takes priority at the moment. This little piece right here. I don't know if it's supposed to go up like that or down like this. Either or, that it depends on your preference, I guess, maybe. Or maybe I'm transforming it wrong, and I don't know. <laughs> but according to the instructions, I, I don't see anywhere where it mentions it. It looks like it's supposed to be pushed in somehow when revert when transforming it in reverse. But I I don't see where. So that's another thing. I don't see where this is supposed to go. Uh, maybe I, I forgot a step when reverse transforming him. Maybe he's packaged like this, mistransformed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Now, one last thing before we um, transform him. You can, if you can hold still, push up. Push this piece up. Push that down. Push these pieces up. And so now, oh hey, yeah, you got guns from from his hand, uh, from his like shoulders. And if you don't like that, because I don't think that's safe. You can turn it over. I'm Larry Boy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Pew. Anyways. Um, if you don't know re that reference, it's Larry Boy in the rumor read. Look it up, watch the film, whatever. Buy the film, watch it, or 
whatever, whichever comes first. Very funny movie. Veg Veggie Tales movie, that is. So yeah, he, he could do that if you want to do that. And if you can just hold still for five seconds. I think you can hold still in that angle. It's a weird angle. Anyways. So, yeah. Let's put that down. Put that down. Put this up. Okay. Not. Okay. He's trying to transform as we speak. Which is not good. Because I don't. I'm not ready to do that. <laughs> not ready to do that. Yet. There. Stand still. Yeah. Okay. So, there's a l small little problem with his legs. It does not onto or rather yeah okay there we go let's remove the weapon there we go now we're going to transform him into robot mode the first thing we want to do is to rotate the wings like I Just like that. Again, if you want it as a po um, pose, it looks cool. And that way, lift this up. Now, this is where it's going to connect to this. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it fell in. Uh oh. That's not, that, that, that has never happened before. Well, it is just now collapsing. Even though I don't want it to collapse inward. Oh, I guess that says anywhere this it's gonna get, I guess. I don't know if I could ever fix that at the moment. Probably not. But anyways, you see these little the, the wingtips, these were supposed to stay down, but but again they transform upward almost on their own. It's like they have a mind of their own, which is concerning. Okay, I cannot fix it. Oh, guess while we're transforming it, it'll fix itself. And Starscream's head is also a little bit removed. He, okay, he's a bit. Oh. Okay, he's a bit aggro. He's, he's also ahead of, literally ahead of himself. Okay, so we're gonna keep the head removed for right now. Well, not too removed, it's not popped off. It's, it's just, well, no, it's not removed, removed from his shoulders. You get what I'm saying. We'll have him have his head like that for right now. There. <laughs> if that happens, gosh. <laughs> Okay, so the wings are supposed to be out, sticking out. We turn them around. We close up the heels into his feet. These are mostly meant for uh, balancing him out. Then we push the feet to where the heels, or they go back into, they go into the this black piece right here then we open up these we open up these red pieces here what i'd like to do for this one take you know, for one of them if you can't open it up for some reason you just stick it in between the hole <laughs> stick the sword into the hole right into the gap They're a little wobbly, so keep that in mind. So what you, you want to do is then just push it up like this. Push both legs up like that. And they're supposed to... Some... Oh, hold on. Push the entire waist right here. See it right here? You push this back. And I keep 
beginning that's what you're supposed to do and you just push it in until you hear like a small little click or push thing sound like a pop small pop not not a loud pop but if, if it's loud let me know that that would be that would probably be bad just a small little pop sound and would you look at that <laughs> this part already transformed for you basically his head's supposed to go in, in between that little gap area and it doesn't and on what's supposed to happen is that that little piece that I have struggle with you can kind of just play away around with it with your thumb by pushing your thumb in between this gap and just wiggle around to where the head pops into place you hear a weird small little pop noise but basically this is his um visible head syndrome you can kind of see it and yeah that's it. again this trans this figure practically kind of transforms by itself almost you got to do some work <laughs> so yeah it's kind of weird how this figure kind of transforms by itself and then there's some issues with it we'll get right into that okay so this part is already done for you okay so uh, or we already got into that part where okay so now this is a weird part this does not make any sense you go over here you face the let's have the wing let's have the arms facing this way you go over here you have the legs facing this way, right? Now what you want to do is make sure you rotate it this way and rotate it that way. It's not It's going to overlap like that. But on the instructions, it looks like the, the tips are touching, or the tips of the wings right here are touching a little bit, just barely. So I guess you kind of just spread them out like this, I guess. Again, this part does not make much sense. Just got to make sure that that's that, and that's that. And then you have to rotate, I'm trying to make sure that the legs are in the right position and everything. Yeah. And you want to rotate the leg, the, the grab the, grab it by the black piece, Ro rotate it to where, Um, lift the red tail up a bit. Sometimes you have to do that. Rotate it to where the the light the red part goes. The red part of the leg goes in the black part of the leg. Same thing with the other end. To where the toes. You gotta kind of play around with it, but now the toes are supposed to go into these little slots here. So rotate it in. This part is the part that I hate the most because you gotta just <laughs> figure out how this goes in, how to figure out how this goes in. Or not figure out. You gotta just. Be patient with it while you push the toes in. I know it's the weird. It's a weird transformation. Ah. Okay. Okay. And then now you have the this rib. Once you have that, 
kind of snug in. You gotta make sure it's popped and kind of, you'll hear like a small, like a few clicks and get it nice lined up and everything to where the bottom red piece, you could hope, hope you could see it, but there's a, but the leg piece that you fold out, right? It's right here now. <clears throat> At least it should be. Fix the lay of the wings a bit. Now this red piece is supposed to just close and you just gotta line up those two red pieces together. And then just push down, push right into it. So this is what it looks like now. It's a it's a jet with arms. Hypothetically speaking, you can just have it like this. Now this is the fun part. Oh no, it's a jet with arms. No, it's not just a jet with arms. <laughs> it's a jet with arms. Yay! Oh, Star Starscream does get... There we go. Push him back into place. Starscream... Uh, it's a jet with arms with swords. Oh no! <laughs> and of course, you could also attach the um, blasters to the to his arms and to his wings. I'll show you the wing. What we can do with the wings here in a minute. Yeah, you could still play around with the wings. Anyways, you could leave the arms <laughs> as is, and he's not so much as a robot in the sky. He's <laughs> as a jet. <laughs> <laughs> is that a jet coming at me or is that a robot disguised as a jet <laughs> the easier part of this entire transformation is to open up these little panels here and then push the hands in close up the panel Push the hand in, close up the panel. Now, now it's a jet with uh, handless arms. Trying to attack me. So anyways, you have Starscream over here again. And so yeah, this uh, Mario is Starscream. Yay! Okay, so now, what do we do now? Oh yes, we... You have to... This part is a little, you have to pay attention, but you have to push the, the red, push the red piece of the arm down into a slot, I think. Yeah, you have to rotate, I'm trying to remember how. You, you push the... Oh, oh I almost forgot. You ha okay, there's a little sliding bar. <laughs> you make sure that the arm goes all the way this way. I know, that that's a little bit confusing. And I don't know how to show you it on screen. But push it to where it's, to where it's on the other side of the sliding bar. <laughs> then... When we're, and then you push. Wait, no, you. Do, do, do. I'm making sure I'm reading this right. Yeah, you push it down. Gotta be careful while pushing the arm down, and then make sure it goes into the wing that the red piece goes into the wing and then you just push the gray piece onto the if it does not rotate push the gray piece into the arm 
make sure if the wing is also flat when doing this so that it snaps into place when you push the arm onto this end of the wing. This end of the wing. It's a bit weird. So let me get a push to stretch cream over and cut get it in or else you're a complete failure. <laughs> A transforming Get a push make sure it's all lined up it's a little bit easy than most of the other there's everything snapped everything into place it's weird it, it, it's a lot easier I actually find that more entertaining to do to transform it like that but anyways star screen rise back up into position now, okay, for the wings. <laughs> Fun thing you can do with the wings is nothing. <laughs> nothing, no, no. Because of the fact that the little... <laughs> nothing, you just drop the entire plane. No, because of the fact that the arms are snapped into place, it's hard for the wings to move anywhere other than that. Um, Try to make sure everything's nice and snug. Now, but what you can do with the guns, with these super ray guns or whatever you want to call them, yeah, just push them into place like so. Or you can just keep them there like that. You could also just angle these, these like little black things to any angle you want, like you can close them up again or spread them out again, whatever you want. Um, and of course you could take this and I can't remember where it goes for the show. You can either put it on the, the, the leg here or the wings. I think it goes on the wings or the arms. That's also another thing. You could put it on the arms. Oh, this is the wrong side. Do it later. Make sure. It, just snap that into place. And then do the same with the other one. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's kind of just mostly identical of each other. But yeah, there's a Marta Starscream in his Gent mode. And likewise, you could spin. <laughs> yeah. I watch him go. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> there you go. And that is Amarda Starscream. Um, and again, likewise, you could also plug in the, the weapons. Um, into the railgun area, which I personally like doing. Oh, it's the wrong ones. I think. I think it's more like so. You can put it like, like that. That's one way you can do it. It's it's there's several ways of like having fun. Right, oh wait, this way. You can have it like this, this way, or that way. Either or, doesn't really matter. The idea is that it's attached to Starscream one way or another. You can also attach it to his arms. Like this, pointing it that way, I guess. Or, yeah, pushing it. But, regardless, there he is. There's our Marta Starscream. And that's the end of this episode. I, again, I hope you uh, liked the video. I hope you uh, subscribe to this channel.
I hope you uh, hit the bell notification for to get me uh, notified. Uh, subscribe to bell notification. Oh, and comment down below which version of the, the Star Screams um, that you like the most. With, um, which Star Scream for which show, TV show, whatever, blah, 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 that you like the most. Me, personally, I don't know. Star Screams is Star Scream. It's kind of hard um, to miss this Star Scream character. I personally like, do like the Amato version. He has a, um, he has a, he, he tries to be a good guy. And I like, I like the idea of, of a star screen trying to be a good guy, trying, uh, to be the best version of himself. I don't know. I don't know why, why I like the idea of Decepticons becoming good guys. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for this episode. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.